So just as we remove G1, we're gonna what? Repeat the process in removing G2. How do we achieve that? We have to gradually reduce the thickness of the area until it gradually blends in into the lower medium region that we created. So quick quiz for you. What blade are we going to use to gradually reduce the thickness? That we put in LDL, our lowest desired length, with a 1A. Hmm, so what do I need to use? I am using a number one blade because the number one blade will allow us to gradually take off a little bit more hair until it blends into the lower region. So that's what I'm using, going against the grain. As you can see, I'm, con <clears throat> I'm continuing to blend, um, going against the grain, going against the hair flow. Again, you visually look at the hair stream in terms of which way that the hair is flowing. And again, we don't want to cut too high into the haircut because we end up creating another guideline. Also important here is for you to vary your tension level, okay? Remember, if you use too much tension, you're gonna take off too much hair. So you wanna lighten up on your tension just a little bit, in between medium, a little bit more than medium, just a little bit more than medium. And as you get higher, you're gonna reduce your tension even more. Okay, so as you can see, we're using the one blade going against the grain. And as you can see how it is beginning to take shape, we have a gradual transition from heavy to light. Using our barber eye, looking at different areas that we need to pinpoint and continuing to go against the grain, looking at the hair flow, varying my uh, cutting strokes but again my, my strokes are nice and smooth going against the grain continuing to comb going against the grain and we want to continue this even toward the uh, back of the head right uh, over top of his occipital bone and there's also you can see right here the hair uh, swirls in different directions. So we want to use the same technique we've been using throughout the haircut is going against the direction in which the swirl is going. Generally, back here in the back, the hair definitely parts and separates and goes in different directions. Continue. We're gonna be consistent how we've been doing throughout the entire cut, going against the grain. And as you can see, we still have um, a little bit of G2 left in there but it's fine. Keeping, it's very important to keep in mind your overall goal of a gradual transition from heavy to light. Because it's important that we keep the entire scope of the haircut in mind as we're doing this. Because you can't just cut in isolation, okay? You have to keep in mind the overall vision um, <clears throat> of what you're trying to achieve in the haircut. So now, we're turning the client on the other side and we're continuing our cutting, going against the grain, right? We're gonna start right over here where G2 is and repeat our process. Also, you can see toward the back of the hair, you see how the hair parts. It is really parting and going in a very distinct, different direction. So we're gonna keep our cutting consistent. As you can see, our strokes are almost on a 45 degree angle going against the hair stream, okay? And there again, you know, it's impossible to fade this going with the grain, okay? You can't get the evenness that you can achieve with going uh, against the grain, okay? So, we're continuing our strokes, nice, consistent, smooth strokes. Keeping in the context our vision of what we're trying to achieve, a gradual transition from heavy to light, continuing to comb. You cannot comb enough. Continue to comb, continue to comb. How do you recognize a barber that's messing up? A barber that doesn't have a comb in his hand, okay? All right. Now you can see this, uh, Take it right, wherever you start, just go, go back 10 seconds. All right. Let's see. <clears throat> All right. So, 
go from right here. All right. As you can see, the hair swirling in different directions. I want to keep the process the same. The same way we were dealing with it in the other regions, we're going to deal with it the same way, going against the grain. Now keep in mind, we have a number one blade on here. So it's definitely important to keep in the scope, to keep in the frame in terms of the what we're trying to achieve, a gradual transition, because we don't want to take this number one blade too deeply into the crown region of his head. Because if we do, what are we going to do? Create another guideline that we're going to have to blend out of there. All right, so we're continuing to go against the grain and you are seeing the transition that the haircut is going through and it's beginning to take shape. Blending, now up here, I'm using lighter tension. All right, and remember we said we can vary your tension levels. All right, if you use heavy tension, you're gonna end up taking off too much. So I'm using, you know, toward the top there, I was using a little bit lighter uh, tension you know which will allows me greater flexibility and variance in uh, using the tools okay now down here I'm using a little bit more tension because I want to take off a little bit more hair okay so continuing to comb I'm just continuing to realize which way the hair is flowing and continuing to go against it now you may have to go against it a couple of times just to make sure that you get it nice and smooth and making sure that it's the same consistent length uh, throughout. Blending, 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 going against the grain. Can't stress it enough. Continuing to comb, continuing to comb. Where's your comb? I don't know. Comb should be in your hand, all right? And as you can see, again, haircut beginning to take shape. So now, we still have G2 in there. We're trying to get it out. So, what do we need to do? Repeat the process, okay? I need a blade that's gonna allow me to take off a little bit more hair so I can eliminate G2. What's gonna allow me to do that? I just got finished using the one. What blade is gonna allow me to do that? Hmm, let's think about it. I'm going to use my OA. That is the blade right up underneath the one that allows me to take off a little bit more hair, okay? Don't be afraid to throw in your adjustables. Um, um, <clears throat> your adjustable clippers open all the way up and transitioning back and forth between the two. You'll be able to have, um, you know, just greater flexibility being able to also use your adjustable clippers. But for our purposes right now, we are using the OA. And as you can see, that guideline is disappearing. It's rolling out of there. I don't know where it's going. It's going away from here. Okay. I'm using the corner, giving me more flexibility instead of the entire width of the blade <clears throat> going against the grain, continuing to use smooth strokes. Now again, there again, we don't want to take the OA too high because we end up creating another guideline that we don't want. I'm continuing to go against the grain. I'm using my OA blade, okay? Going against the grain, we're gonna continue our blending, uh, continuing to the other side of the head, varying my tension level. There again, you don't wanna use too much tension as in your blending because you end up creating another guideline okay we're going to be consistent throughout the haircut going against the hair flow blending varying our tension levels okay also using the other technique of using the corner of the blade as you can see we have completely blended out our second guideline so now what we're doing basically is just clean up work we're looking at the remnants of a little bit that's left over of our second guideline um, <clears throat> and we've also transitioned in using our triple O blade triple O blade allows us to kind of get in there and remove it just a little bit more now as I'm moving up the haircut I want to put a larger blade on so I've gone back to my number one uh, blade which will allow me to work on these particular areas I'm just basically looking for inconsistencies in the cut 
so I can achieve my overall goal of a gradual transition from heavy to light. Okay, continuing to comb, continuing to comb, looking at the hair flow in which direction that it is going.